excellent dribbling action, powerful assists, accurate passes and impressive footwork made Diego Maradona rise up to the ranks within a short period to become the greatest football player of all time. Argentina's national hero and pride, this exceptionally talented young man was born to play the sport. As such, despite coming from a humble background with lack of financial stability, he made his way to the football field at the age of 10 and made his professional debut by 16. His compact physique and great physical strength gave him the edge over other players and helped him achieve the pinnacle of success. In a career spanning over 21 years, he rose from being an inexperienced club player to the most coveted soccer player. He scored 34 goals in 91 international appearances. It was through his sheer display of brilliance on the field that he was awarded FIFA Player of the 20th Century Award. He is the only player to appear 16 times as the captain of a World Cup team, which in itself is a World Cup record. Childhood and Early Life Diego Maradona was born to Chitoro Diego Maradona and Doa Tota Dalma Salvadora Franco. He has four elder sisters and two younger brothers. His family was a close-knit one but suffered from poor financial condition. He took to playing soccer from a very tender age. His phenomenal talents soon caught the attention of a talent scout who inducted him in La Cebolatas, the junior team of Buenos Aires Argentinos Juniors. He led La Cebolatas to a 136 unbeaten streak, displaying his prodigious capability and talent. Career. In 1976, a little before his 16th birthday, Diego Maradona made his professional debut with Argentinos Juniors. In his five years of association with the club team, he made 167 appearances and scored 115 goals. His proper international debut came on February 27, 1977 against Hungary. His first senior goal came to a match against Scotland at Hampden Park on June 2, 1979. Argentina won the match by 3-1. In 1979, he played for Argentina in the FIFA Under-20 World Cup and helped the team win the tournament. He was the star of the tournament and won the Golden Ball Award as the tournament's best player. In 1981, he was transferred to Boca Juniors for $1 million. It was while playing for the club team that he secured his first league championship medal. In 1982, he played his first World Cup tournament. Despite being defending champions, Argentina did not perform to expectations and were ousted by the tournament in the second round, losing to Brazil and eventual winners, Italy. Following the loss of the World Cup, he was transferred to FC Barcelona in Spain for a world record fee of 5 million. Though he went on to win the Copa del Rey and Spanish Super Cup for the club, throughout his tenure, he suffered from ill health and injury. In his two seasons with Barcelona, he scored 38 goals in 58 games. However, dispute with the club president and team director led to his transfer to Napoli in Italy's Serie A for another world record fee of 6.9 million pounds. His association with Napoli was the most fruitful of all and brought successful results for both himself and the club. Not only did he reach the pinnacle of his career, but assisted the club to enjoy immense success and victory. He led the club to win the Serie A Italian Championships twice. Additionally, Napoli attained the Coppa Italia in 87, the UEFA Cup in 89, and the Italian Super Cup in 90. In the 87-88 and 88-89 Serie A Italian Championships, the club was placed in the second position with him being the top scorer in 87-88. Meanwhile, at the 86 FIFA World Cup, he led Argentina to victory. Throughout the tournament, he led his team from the front and asserted his dominance in every game. He scored five goals and made five assists and played a crucial role in the quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals against England, Belgium, and West Germany, respectively. In the 1990 FIFA World Cup, he continued his role as a captain of the Argentina team, with the only difference being he was less dominant. He led his team to a World Cup final against West Germany, but unlike 1986, he could not replicate the success as his team lost by 1-0. 
This marked the steep decline of the once flourishing career. In 1991, he received a 15-month suspension after testing positive for using cocaine. In 1992, he left Napoli to join Sevilla of Spain, where he played for a year. The following year, he played for Newell's Old Boys. In the 1994 FIFA World Cup, he played just two games, scoring one goal before being ousted for failing an ephedrine drug test. This also marked an end to his international career, which spanned for 17 years. In the 91 games that he played, he scored 34 goals. In 1995, he returned to Boca Juniors and played with the club for two years, before announcing his retirement in 1997 on the eve of his birthday. In 2008, he was appointed as the head coach of the Argentina national team, a position he served for 18 months until 2010 World Cup. He joined Argentine Primera D club Deportivo Riestra in 2013 as its spiritual coach. Awards and Achievements He won the Golden Ball Award at the 1986 FIFA World Cup. In 1999, he was bestowed with the Diamond Konex Award, which was one of the most prestigious culture awards in Argentina, the Konex Foundation, Argentina, for being the ultimate sports star of the decade. He was adjudged FIFA Player of the Century Award in 2000, along with Pele. He acquired the majority of the votes at 53.6% against Pele's 18.53%. However, the latter was voted by the Football Family Committee. His second goal against England in the quarterfinal match during the 1986 World Cup was voted the best goal ever scored in a World Cup in the 2002 FIFA poll. The following year, the Argentinos Juniors named its stadium after him. In 2010, the Times chose him as the greatest 10 World Cup players of all time. Family and personal life. Diego Maradona walked the aisle with his longtime sweetheart, Claudia Willifane, on November 7, 1984. The couple was blessed with two daughters, Dalma Neria and Janina Denora. The couple divorced in 2004. During the proceedings, he confirmed having an illegitimate son, Diego Sinagra, who presently is a footballer in Italy. He was blessed with another son, Diego Fernando, in 2013 from his ex-long-term partner, Veronica Ojeda. From 1980s until 2004, he remained a drug addict, which negatively affected his health and performance. Though he relocated to Cuba and tried following a drug rehab plan, things did not seem to be better as he suffered a major myocardial infraction following a cocaine overdose in 2004. Diego Maradona died of a heart attack on 25th November 2020 at his home in Buenos Aires. Two weeks prior to his death, he had a surgery for a blood clot in his brain. That was all about the king of football, Diego Maradona. If you like this video and want to watch more football documentaries, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more updates.